on our morning commute. We're walking to Barry's right now. Lucy's never been. Max has never been. I've gone to one class in my life, like Wait, really? years ago. I feel like you went maybe a couple times ago. Yeah, maybe it was. No, I went once. Wow. Maybe like three years ago, and I was so intimidated. I feel like it's very like culty. At least was the vibe I got. I think like the, the right word. Like the people. Yes. Like everyone like knew what they were doing, place. and I had no experience like lifting weights. I hid in the corner with my like five pound dumbbells. I was scared. But it's gonna be like we're doing it. Like your soul cycle class, but you also don't know. Thankfully, like because Max and I kind of dove in there. Oh yeah, yeah no, you guys will be great. Max is gonna be like I know, showing us up, so killing it. Hi Max, morning. Here we go. I'm nervous, you guys. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Lucy can't get a walk over. Look who I found. Hey, what's up? <laughs> okay, everyone, go to Brando's soul class, okay? <laughs> He literally taught, came to Barry's, and now he's going to teach again. I'm crazy, what can I say? Yeah, I could never. If you want some fire, come to my class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did we think? That was great. That was great. I was surprised. Fire. We got smoothies after. That's so fun that they do that. For a nap. <laughs> every place needs, every workout place needs to do this. They would make like a killing, oh, yeah. you know? Well, that was fun, and I felt like not that it's easier than Orange Theory, but to me it goes by so much quicker. Like it's easier mentally to handle because you switch so much. I don't know if every class is like yeah. that. I you guys like, tell me. I like the weight section better than Orange Theory. Great today. The I haven't weight's done better? That. Yeah, I haven't yeah. done Orange Theory. And those theory treadmills are weird to me. I'm not used to them. I feel like the treadmills were bouncier than normal treadmills, perhaps, which is yeah. probably better. Yeah. I liked them more. I always just feel like I'm going to fall off. That's my thing with treadmills. I felt like I was going to fall so off. So I'm like, we're, like running at the tippy top. <laughs> And my, I, one time my foot scuffed and I almost like ate it. I was visualizing one of us flying off the back and slamming our face like into the oh, treadmill yeah. and like breaking our nose. Okay, but I want to ask him is every class like 10 minutes floor, 10 minutes treadmill, 10 minutes floor, 10 minutes treadmill, stretch, you're done? Because that's why, like 10 minute increments, it goes by so quick, yeah. you know? Like the girl giving us a little intro. She's like, okay, girls, you could do like 15, 20s max. You could do like 25 or 30, whatever. <laughs> You're like, okay, sure. <laughs> you miss us. Oh my goodness. Hi. Everyone is saying my Instagram story to start a series of him. It's like what he brings to us, what he's carrying in his mouth. Sometimes it's a shoe, or it's a sock, or it's like a dog toy. Today it's Bumblebee. I wanna show you guys, because it's the first time I'm wearing this Lulu tape and leggings. I actually bought these in Nashville, just because I was at the Lulu there, and the dark gray was speaking to me. These are the graphite aligns, I believe they're called. Graphite color, and yeah, I just really like the dark gray. Also, these are the new hokas I got in New York, but I like ended off my vlog before I showed getting them. They're the cantaloupe color, if you can see. And I love them. It feels like I'm running on like a trampoline kind of. Like I swear when I put them on, I was walking like this. Anyway, and then this is the, I think it's newish, a line tank that's like high neck. And I believe it's like the waist length one like it's a little bit shorter and I love it so that's that about that I'm wearing the ebb to street bra underneath it's what's my favorite and I would recommend for under this because look you can like kind of attach the middle of it so it goes underneath like a racer back tank perfectly anyway it's so nice out we thought it was gonna be kind of crummy but it's literally so sunny so Missy and I are going to head to the pool and I'm showered and clean did a little bit of makeup and you guys I just opened this package from Outdoor Voices I'm so excited I can't believe I got my hands on this color like this bubblegum pink color of the exercise dress because I've been wanting it 
for so long and honestly it's even better than i thought i was like well i actually like it in person when i try it on i'm literally obsessed isn't it so cute it's just like summer and fun and i'm really loving it so this is so exciting for me but anyway before lucy and i head to trader joe's i want to shout out the sponsor of this video thank you so much helix sleep for working with me on this video if you guys know or if you didn't know sorry if there's a brody hair in my eye <laughs> my most favorite mattress of all time the best mattress i've ever slept on is my helix sleep mattress okay here's the deal so we've had our helix sleep mattress for years now back in pa thought for the summer that it would be fine coming to boston sleeping on this mattress that just the people here before us left for us I'm like oh it'll be fine it's not good <laughs> this mattress here is like paper thin and just really really hard like just very very firm like way too firm and i'm not sleeping as well as my helix mattress my helix mattress is just so good like nothing else compares you guys know whenever i sleep at my mom's house on my mattress at home with my sister at my friends on vacation i just always wish i was back home in my bed and so actually the number one thing i noticed the most is i'm uncomfortable in this bed here but also i wake up so often in the night so i stay asleep and fall asleep so much easier on my helix sleep mattress in pa so you guys are wondering we have the helix sleep midnight Lux mattress we actually got matched to that model through their sleep quiz so helix knows that everybody has different sleep preferences and body types everything like that and so they can match you to the mattress that's perfect for you and so i wrote in there things like you know it's max and i sleeping in the bed we actually both prefer a medium feel and typically sleep like on our sides so that's how we got matched with the midnight model it's like yeah just for your side sleepers and like a medium firmness and our mattress got delivered for free right to our door all rolled up tight so it's so easy to unbox by yourself and set up and then it kind of comes to life and expands you know and i also know that they have a 100 night sleep trial so you have over three months to make sure that you love your mattress i know you'll love it and if not you can return to get your money back like risk-free they also have a 10-year warranty because they know their mattresses last they just are the most like high quality premium mattresses are so comfy and they actually have flexible payment plans and financing options to make it just easier so a great night's sleep is never too far away especially if you guys are in the market for a new mattress i could not recommend enough whenever you guys dm me and you're like wait what's that mattress you have again that you love what's your promo code if you go to helixsleep.com slash gretchen you can get up to 200 off a new mattress and two free pillows could not recommend enough i will have them linked down below i miss my helix dearly like i miss my mattress so much back home i can't wait till we're reunited <laughs> in september again i will have helix sleep linked down below helixsleep.com slash Gretchen to $200 off a new favorite mattress and two free pillows. To the holy land we go. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't been to uh, Trader Joe's in so long. I know. I can't believe I haven't been since I've been here. I'm so excited. This is my favorite Trader Joe's. Bless you. By the way, this is the seaport location and I just like it the best. All right. This is what we got so far. There's like a ton of fruit. Thank you. Because I didn't even tell you guys what we're doing like boards tonight. On the rooftop, we're gonna do cheese board, dessert board. We're in charge of the fruit board, if you couldn't tell. And I'm doing this dip with apples. It's so good. So we literally have like 15 apples. Oh, nothing makes me happier than a Trader Joe's. Oh, pre sliced apple. That's okay. We can cut them up. I'm gonna regret that later when we're cutting 15 apples. <laughs> I was gonna say to them, do you guys check your eggs when you get them? Like, okay, I always make sure there's no cracks and you see that they're like stuck. Or mm -hmm. do you just grab them? No, you That's gotta crazy. check. You gotta check. If you're like wild and you grab them, you don't check. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Crazy. That looks good. Oh my gosh. The best section. We're getting Max his favorite, the barbecue chicken the pizza. The frozen section of Whole Foods, or <laughs> Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's is the best. I know, I was gonna say, we all know this is the best section and why everyone actually comes to Trader Joe's. All the snacks and frozen food, like, holy moly. Oh yeah, let's get like 20. <laughs> I may go as far to say that these are my favorite thing of all the things at Trader Joe's. Oh my God, so They're good. so good. Oh, and the cauliflower, I feel like you don't like, I, I hate but it. I really like, you definitely need at least one of those. Oh my goodness, look at how full 
this card is. This is probably the most important thing right here. We're back from Trader Joe's. It's funny because I thought I could get away with just two bags. There's four. We always go a little crazy. But like I said, we had to get a bunch of fruit and stuff like for tonight. So yeah. Okay, let's just get going. I feel like this always takes so long. So today I'm gonna be quick and concise, okay? Gluten-free bread, which is so random because I'm not gluten-free, none of us are gluten-free. But Lucy and I actually had a roommate. I was saying I was gonna be quick. A roommate our senior year of college who was gluten-free. She'd always get this bread and we tried it and I remember it being so good. And Lucy and I were talking about what we were gonna get Trader Joe's. She was like, remember that gluten-free bread, how good it was? I just like it because they're like little pieces of bread and they get really crispy. And yeah, I just like the way this bread tastes. So grab that, even though not gluten-free. We grabbed two avocados, two lemons, frozen salmon. You guys know my fave because then I can thaw it out use it whenever, especially in those like salmon rice bowls, so good. The chocolate peanut butter Jojo sandwich cookies, Max. Whoa. Remember we love these? I love We recently found those and they're so good. Okay, organic jasmine rice, the frozen one, in case we are feeling lazy, but I actually got a big bag of normal jasmine rice too because I have rice cooker, some shredded cheese, we like doing that on our eggs. Grab some truffle marcona almonds. Marcona almonds are so good. Truffle is good on anything, so love that. We'll use that tonight on our board probably for some fun. Cream cheese, like this is like normal cream cheese. I'm gonna have it with bagels. And then I got two other things of cream cheese that are gonna go in this like fruit dip thing I'm gonna make. Cashew butter because I've actually never had the Trader Joe's one. I've had another one before and I really like the way it tastes. So I thought I'd try the Trader Joe one. I'll probably just eat it with like a spoon. Black peppercorns because we are out of pepper or at least like on the last leg. Frozen blueberries, honestly. These are three little bags. I'll probably go through these in like a week or two. I feel like I just always make blueberry, banana, almond butter smoothies. It's like my go-to. Chicken breasts because I think I'm gonna have Gretchen, part two of trying to grill on my own soon. Mm. So we will see how that goes since Max is leaving in two days. Okay, strawberries for the fruit board. Raspberries for the fruit board. Pomegranate seeds for the fruit board. Some spinach. This cabin is filling up. Bunch of bananas because who doesn't love bananas? And whenever they get like too ripe, I freeze them and put them in my smoothies. Okay, I think we've got Gala and Honeycrisp apples, maybe like six, seven of each, like so many, but it's cause trust me, you eat like, remember Max, you know that dip? You eat like so many apple slices with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, here is so the jasmine rice. Oh, well, I'm gonna make it tonight for our little oh, gal. Taylor's been calling it boards and awards. She said she has awards for the best boards. She's like, don't think anything crazy, think like little. Like maybe I'll get like a yo-yo. Right. <laughs> anyway, jasmine rice. Okay, here we go. Next up, eggs. I had a talk with them in Trader Joe's. Would you say the majority of people check their eggs before they buy them or I no? So. Oh, do you? I feel like I thought you didn't, but you do. Yeah. Everything bagels, we love their everything bagels. Those are your favorite mats. Watermelon for the fruit board. Ooh. Pineapple for the fruit board. You can have some. Lucy is adamant that we try this mac and cheese. I've never had it. It's like in the freezer section, um, but she says it's like the best ever. So we're gonna try that. It's slowly like filling up in front of us. Okay, cauliflower gnocchi. Did I get three of these? Yeah, I did. I can grab another because this is like my favorite. So easy to do when I'm like on my own especially and I want something easy and I always do it with like red sauce, it's so good. Okay, I think my favorite, favorite thing from Trader Joe's might be tied between chocolate peanut butter Jojo's, which was like a recent discovery of mine, and the sweet potato gnocchi. Oh, it's just so classic. good. What's what do you- orange chicken. Is that your favorite, you think? Yeah. Oh, how'd you know? That's what was next, your orange chicken. That's what you would vote is your favorite? Yeah, you love that. Okay, last but not least, last bag. Little tomatoes, I always like fly through those. More basil because sadly, 
my basil plant is dead. I've literally gone through like 10 of them. I always try to keep it alive, put it in the windowsill, give it water. Why does it die on me? Someone that has a basil plant that's living, please give me any of your tips. So I'm just buying some fresh basil. In the meantime, your barbecue chicken pizza mix. Also a favorite. Two of those, cause he loves. Got some sparkling woo, water since I recently found out that I like sparkling water and especially like crisp club soda with lemon. Mmm, so good. Is sparkling water different than club soda? I don't know. Okay, lastly, I guess Lucy grabbed two green apples. She said she wanted green apples tonight. I grabbed cashew butter cashews, which these must be new. If you guys know, I love the almond butter almonds, but I thought I'd try these because I haven't tried them. They look so good. Remember, I like cashew butter. Okay, very last but not least, vanilla extract because we don't have any and I need some in that fruit dip tonight. That's all. That concludes. That's all. The Trader Joe haul. <laughs> Trader Joe's. I always do that. I'll say like Trader's Joe or Trader Joe. Trader Joe's. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> basil tree. <laughs> Max just called this my dusty old basil tree. Nobody asked, but here is the basil plant that I could not keep alive. This is gross. I need to throw it away. It's really sad. It's a reminder of that I'm not a good caretaker of plants, apparently. I see your little head in the back. <laughs> Okay, you guys, sadly, I took off the pink dress because it's so cold out. So I made a full grow fit little tracksuit. I just wanted to be comfy. Clearly, this lines. <laughs> My toes may be cold, but I'm too lazy to like put on. You know when you're too lazy to put on like sneakers, like shoes? Like I don't want to the socks and lacing it up. It's like, no, you know? So we're going to go meet everybody outside. And what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I made the fruit dip, cut up all the fruit. I'll show you guys the finished product when we're out there. I almost forgot the best part is the caramel on top. You spread it all around, it's like a layer. I thought it was gonna be a drizzle. Oh no. No drizzle. Like this. So you so get you a get little bit with each apple dip. And it's so yummy. Oh my god. Ours is put to shame by this. Are you kidding me? This one? Bye. Ours is so bad. Don't look over here. <laughs> you guys, how cute is Taylor? She made this today on Canva, she said. <laughs> These are our prizes. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell them it was a competition, but it's a competition. Sports and awards. And this is so typical. My outfit versus Taylor's outfit. Classic. <laughs> okay, how am I supposed to compete with freaking Levain cookies over here? Hello, like I thought we were doing something special. Oh my God. Lucy just washed her face. She's doing her skincare. And your skin looks great. And I'm like really bad. You guys won't believe what we're about to do. It's been a long, busy day. But I know you, Lucy, such a night owl. Like you'll be way more chatty than if I had you do this at like 8 a.m. You know? Yeah, I suppose. We so. are recording a new episode of my podcast, mm -hmm. Late Night Edition. We had a little drink down there. Well, literally, we each had a little bit of a seltzer. <laughs> like, it did nothing. <laughs> yeah, you were totally, like, But I'm like, we're feeling like fun. Four hours. Yeah, no, I feel like it really did nothing, like, but, a bunch of food. like, they honestly just taste good, so I have never eaten so much. I was gonna ask them if they were being good, but I ate so much. Less is more, I feel like, is the best well, advice. Yeah, I agree. Literally, I'm like, so many issues. cleanser, maybe a serum, moisturizer, okay, done. So I've been trying to use this. Is that Paula's? Yes, Paula's for like, I've used it like, Paula's I've had that size for like, Oh wait, Lou, forever. I don't even know if I showed you. I've been using Paula's. No way. Mm -hmm. The same thing, different, different. This one. Retinol. Bacucho, I don't ever know. Is it good? Maybe I should try that. I mean, you yeah, try it. Like, like really, BHA kind of lights me on fire. <laughs> and I feel like it, it's a brace. It brings out like, every little thing that's under the surface so like maybe in theory it'll end up clearing it out but like i've been trying to use it for a while now so i'm like yeah, i don't know 
We've got to have to be more. Phase, oh, not, this is number four. Tree. Is this a number? Oh, why is this a number? Oh, because I, I have like the mini one. Because I was like trying it out. I'm still trying it out. But I, I think I need to be more consistent. I've been trying it for months and like not super consistently. But then like, I've been using it like a couple times a week. And yeah, whatever. So if anyone well, has any recommendations. <laughs> yeah, if you have recommendations for your face skincare, comment below. But I'll give you that like clean, like. Not like impurities under the surface, like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like everyone would say we have skincare, moisturize, glowing, clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, I guess we focus on different things, though. Okay, mm -hmm. I feel like I vlogged so much today, and tomorrow is going to be like a long, crazy day. It's going to be so fun. Tomorrow is Max's sister, Chase. It's her 30th birthday. Mm -hmm. I can't I'm even so believe excited. it. It's like a couple hours away. Like two, one and Literally a half. One so we gotta text her in a minute. But we're gonna see her tomorrow. We have a big dinner plan. We're gonna go out. Mm -hmm. Lucy and I are gonna go to solid core during the day. We're gonna shop. We're gonna do all the things. So yeah. I figured I'll just make that a separate vlog. So I gotta figure fun. out a fun little outfit to wear. Yeah, everyone been has their black time. fits going. So. Yeah, I think I know what I'm wearing. So that'll be tomorrow. But I'm gonna end off the vlog mm -hmm. here because we're gonna go do our podcast and crawl into bed. Mm -hmm. So, love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.